So this is the Braille Writing Tutor developed by the TechBridge World Research Group at Carnegie Mellon University. Um, now to describe the tutor, it's very light in weight. Um, it's square shaped, I'd say probably around uh, 4 inches by 4 inches. Um, and it's a prototype, so there's actually no proper casing around it, um, but it is a functional prototype. Now to describe the layout of the tutor, um, I'll describe it in thirds. So the top third has a plastic uh, covering, basically to ensure that the electronics are not touched um, by the users. The second third or the middle part of the Braille tutor has an enlarged Braille cell and this is feedback that we received from our partners in India and around the world, essentially just helping uh, younger learners uh, familiarize themselves with the um, concept of Braille. And to the um, uh, right and the left of the enlarged Braille cell are enter buttons. So this is what the user can press if um, when they're done entering information. And then the bottom third of the tutor has a slate portion. So this is very similar to the slate that you'd see, um, say for example, in a blind school in India. All right, uh, now the tutor doesn't work on its own. It needs to be connected to a computer. So it's connected using um, a USB. And so the USB is uh, located at the top right portion of the tutor. So I'll connect it now. And I will run the executable. Welcome to the Braille Tutor. So you heard uh, the voice of a teacher at the Mothra School for the Blind. So one of the really neat um, aspects of this tutor is that uh, you can easily pre-record sound files. So anybody can um, have uh, sound files in their voice on the Braille Tutor. Okay, so she says welcome to the Braille Tutor and now I'm going to walk you through a couple of the um, educational modes and games of the Braille Tutor. Learn letters to write the letter. A. Press. One. So for the first mode, um, that was the learn letters mode, so she's or the Braille Tutor is essentially teaching me the um, alphabet. Now keep in mind this is a Braille writing tutor, so we're going to be using the writing configuration of Braille um, rather than the reading. But the software could be modified um, if you wanted to use the reading, but we will be using the writing configuration for this demo. Okay, so there are two ways that you can enter information. Uh, one, is, one of them is through the enlarged Braille cell, which is in the center of the tutor, so I will do that. One. Alright, now she's quizzing me on um, the letters I've just learned. One, five, E. Good. Please write A. Now, if I get something wrong, um, let's see what she says. and so on and so forth. So you'll see that she gives, um, well, the tutor gives immediate audio feedback. So you know if you're doing something wrong and then it follows up and says that um, how to write the correct letter. Uh, so that's the learn letters mode. There's another mode where you can practice the letters um, similar to this quiz that we just did. Letter practice. Please write. C. 
So now she wants me to write the word cat. So I'll do it on the slate portion of the Braille Tutor. Alright, so that wraps up the demo for the Braille Writing Tutor, and now I'll quickly show you the standalone Braille Tutor. Alright, so this is TechBridge World Standalone Braille Writing Tutor, and it's essentially the next version of the Braille Writing Tutor um, in that it has onboard computing, and it's powered by four AA batteries which can be rechargeable. So as mentioned in the application, it, um, the Standalone Braille Tutor, or SABT, has three swappable interfaces. So what you see right now is the primary interface, which just consists of an enlarged Braille cell. It's actually a lot larger than um, the enlarged cell in the Braille Tutor. And so there's no slate portion here, just the enlarged Braille cell. And then the next interface is the intermediate interface. And it's very similar to the Braille Tutor um, in that it has an enlarged Braille cell. And actually, it's smaller. Um, and then it has the 2x16 um, slate on the bottom. And then the advanced interface is just an e-slate. So there's no enlarged braille cells here, it's just um, the slate portion. Uh, so today I'm going to demo for you the primary interface. So it's, uh, you'll see it's connected to two portable, uh, two portable speakers, but you can also use headphones if you prefer. So I'm just going to turn the device on. Please wait a few moments while the dictionary loads. Welcome to the standalone Braille Tutor. Main menu. So as I mentioned, it has a lot of the um, same features as the Braille Tutor, which means it has the educational modes, which I demoed on the Braille Writing Tutor. But now I'm going to show you the fun part, um, or a fun educational game. Learn dots. So I'm actually scrolling through the menu using these two dots, uh, these two uh, buttons here, square-shaped buttons on the right side of the tutor. Letter practice. Animal game. So animal game is a very popular game, um, especially at the math or school for the blind. So I'm going to select that one. You have selected animal game. Please write the name of the animal that makes this sound. <laughs> Alright, so that's a horse, and just as a reminder, this is a standalone Braille writing tutor, so we'll be using the writing configuration of Braille. One, two, five. And I'm going to press the enter button, which is on the left hand side of the tutor. H, good. One, three, five. Oh, good. One, two, three, five. R, good. Four, two, three. S, good. One, five, E. Nice work. All right, so this wraps it up for the demo of the Braille Writing Tutor and the Standalone Braille Writing Tutor. Thanks for watching and for listening.